What's up guys? If I get 2,000 likes on this video, I'm parking a monster truck on my race car. Uh -huh. Get her done. What's the plan tonight? What'd you say? I can't hear nothing. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> All right, why are we running the motor? Well, if you follow us on Facebook, you will know we had to put a new heartbeat in this thing, didn't we? Yes. So we, we just did it real fast, in and out. We didn't do any video, and I apologize, but it's in there. This is the motor that we had in our Impressive last year, and we just freshened it. The other engine had some strange top end noise. I, a better safe than sorry type deal, you know what I mean? So dad's going to check that out and see what's going on with it. But today's episode is all about the tire prep, Brian's favorite thing. Yeah, oh yeah, you know it. <laughs> uh, so we're going to take, let me spin you around. We're going to take these tires here, the ones we practiced with, and we ran them at the B-Mod show last year. How many laps is on them? About three? Maybe. <laughs> Not counting them, uh, the practice that we had this uh couple weeks ago there or poplar bluff so they don't have hardly any time on them so we're not going to waste good tires we're going to go out with old tires for the first night That's the first. <laughs> so uh we've got some new tires sitting over here and we will mount a couple of them and we're going to start with these the only one we're not going to use which one is the left front one of these is the left front this one it's probably got uh, a full season on it from last year. So, that's two years in a row, Brian, we ran a left front for a full season. Yep. A lot of people are going to be yelling at us. You got to be changing them tires out. Let me show you something. You see this wall here? How many races did we run last year? Ten? Oh, I know. This this is year before last. We raced 15 or 18 nights uh, two years ago. That's two years ago's tires. They're stacked. This was last year. How far down does that go? All right. This is last year, and we ran about 10 or 11 nights. And there's some on the wall from last year. So we buy tires. We, we, we got tires. But we ain't going to waste good ones. By God, we're going to run them. But what we're going to do is we've got several Bassett wheels. We've always ran the arrows. Um, we made the switch over to Bassett because every wheel we got in this place is a three off. Minus the right rear. The whole car takes two offs. The left or the right rear takes four off. And we've been running threes, which you've heard this story before, it sound like a broken record, but we've been running threes with these wheel spacers. See that? That turns it into a two off. You push the wheel out. I want to get away from that. We messed up one time last year and we didn't get a spacer on the right front. And it probably wasn't the difference between winning and losing. But it didn't help. But yeah, we're not gonna do it again. So we've got brand new Bassett wheels. Uh, did a lot of research on the wheel stuff and the research I did told me that Bassett was the wheel to buy. So that's what I did. So we're gonna mount them up and we're gonna prep some. I'll mount two new ones, we'll really prep them. And you're gonna go along for the ride. So enough jabbering, let's get these things out of the box. Let's get them mounted up, let's get to it. Let's show them how to stag stagger a tire. So what he's got there is a stagger stick. Basically, you just slide it down there. And it's got measurements on my blocking. Got measurements on there. I'm gonna ride on here. I like to ride it on the inside of the tire. So that's what we do. And uh, on a new tire, that's it. But we got a used tire. When we, I'll show you in a minute. When we get done grinding them, we always put a mark right behind it so that way we know how many heat cycles has been in it that's something important to remember 
talk to about three guys, you get three different answers on heat cycles, but I know what I like to do. If you wanted to stay up on your tire program, you gotta keep that kind of stuff in mind. You always keep your stagger in check. You know what you got. Yeah, we didn't change these tires. We flipped them around. That way the biting edges are out. This will continue to stay on the right rear. That one will be a spare. It is a two off wheel, but we're not gonna run it unless we have to. Now these on the other hand are coming off. These wheels will be up for sale. I'm gonna part ways with those. So let's get back after it. Dang! You like that, buddy? The old red stripe on it. The old red stripe. Bass had five holes. The inertia wheel. I don't know about you, but uh, I've always liked that wheel, ain't you? They look good. Them boys make a good look of wheel right there. Yes, they do. Not to mention, there's some science going on with that inertia stuff. Just read about it. Go to their website. I'll link it down below here. Um, but anyway, we're going to mount these up. I think they're going to look pretty slick on that car, don't you? So. Not to mention that they're two offs and we ain't got to run no spacers. There's no thoughts here. You just put them on. And every wheel except the right rear is a two off, so you can mount your tires anyway. That's kind of nice because remember on the shawl, we had twos on the front, threes on the back. You had to be like, okay, which tire do I want on this two off? And which tire do I want? You ain't got to think about that stuff. You just jam them on there, then you do your staggering. So the old left rear took on some, some mud action. That's bound to happen. This is the inside here. So when you're sliding that car, you know, this is folding over. And it's getting up in that bead. So if you ever lose air out of your left rear, you see why? That old bead's got some mud in it. Thanks, I appreciate it. Cannot forget to put a valve sim in that. I'm gonna go get some. Better. A really good quality wheel for sale. Custom. Yep, we're going racing this weekend, boys. We got spot five days to get her ready. Mine's ready, other than the tires. Got that new bullet in it. Drop down below in the comments, who all is going to Farmington to the races? Anybody? St. Francis County Raceway, who's coming? Who is coming? I'd like to see a bunch of new faces there. That'd be awesome. I really would. Come out and support us. I'm sure old Danny would appreciate every bit of it. He's still, he's going to have that thing rubbed half in two. Had quite the amount of dirt in it. <laughs> Did it? Quite the amount of dirt in it. Could you believe it? We got to get that tire clean on that new wheel. Let me try it. I'll go. Oh, baby. How you doing? Have That's right a tight fit. So when we mount this, I'm gonna go this way. So they bite the edges to the inside of the car cause that's the way the, the cars are moving. So let's wrangle this on there, get her mounted up and see what she looks like. Well, there you have it. One down, several to go. Why don't we go over and throw it on the hot rod and see what it looks like. What do you think? Looks faster, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Gain 10 horsepower easy. 10 horsepower or half a second? Easy. Whichever one. You ever come first? I'm going to say half a second. I don't need the horsepower. I'll take the speed. That's right. <laughs> All right. So I'll set you up in the stand here. We're just going to blaze through these and get them mounted up and uh, get done with it so we can get on to other stuff. Make our car as fast as we can. All right, so we got, I think we got everything mounted, don't we? No, we got, yeah. Oh, I mean for, start with you. well, we got to get two more tires mounted. We got a late start. We had to let the motor run. We had to break it in. We'll do that every evening, all the way up to race night. We'll let it get up to temp, run it. Because we're going to turn that thing about 882, ain't we? <laughs> if it's lucky. Because, I mean, you got to know where your 
power is coming off the turn. You got to be in that stuff. You don't want to be flatlining underneath of it. So that's where it was. This car could be different. But like I said, we got a late start. We had to do all that. So we'll get the rest of this done tomorrow. For you, it'll just be a couple seconds. For us, it'll take a while. See you then. And it's the next day here. So let's get back to these tires and get them all mounted, ground, and all that stuff so we can go racing. Yeah. Oh, I almost knocked out. We got to go wash these tires. I don't want to. Yeah. You're going to take it out there for me, though, ain't you? Yeah. How about going out of here? <laughs> Better get a run at it. Go hard. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Right over here on the concrete, remember? Nice. Good job. Good job. Get her good, bud. Have you ever done this before? No. You haven't? I think no. you're full of baloney. Well, I it. How come we're doing this? Because. How come? Because the tires are dirty. Yep. Get her good. <laughs> Back up a little bit. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, man. Clean these tires, man. Mm -hmm. Say hi. Doing? Hi. We're going to St. Francis County Raceway. Yeah, yeah, and we gotta say, get these tires cleaned up so we can win. Yeah, and then say hi. Bye, guys. All right, bye, guys. <laughs> you wanna do what when I race? I wanna be the cameraman when you race. Tell you what, when you get bigger, you can get a real race car. And we'll put a camera on your race car. Okay. Sound pretty good? I want to have a all blue race car. What kind of race car do you want? Um, the 52 one. 52, okay. What kind? Like dad's got a late model or a modified. You can I, have a late model, a sprint car. I want to have a sprint car. A sprint car? How come? <laughs> Are they the coolest? Yes. What about a modified? They go really fast. Anyway. Yeah, they are fast. But they wreck. Jeff Asher's got a sprint car. Maybe he'll let you drive it. Okay. But I'm going to wreck too much times. Oh, well, Jeff, you used to wreck a lot. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Jeff, if you watch this. You did tear up some modifies, but I'm proud of you for the sprint car. You but didn't I really tear much up. I actually don't want a sprint car. I want a modified. There's my boy. Yeah. Modified. Pray her off, bud. Pray her good. See all that mud coming off there? That's just about right, isn't it? You done that before? Hey, old B. Taking Brian's job. Got a new crew guy. You're good, bud. You're doing yep. good. Yep. Got a new crew guy. He's gonna he's gonna prep tires for us. <laughs> he said we had to get them tires cleaned off. He's too dirty. I said okay. So we're gonna take this here tire off. Still a good tire, but it's what we would call a heat race tire in our world, what we do. So we're gonna get a new one on there, and that one's already prepped, wrapped up, and everything else. Well, that's a mighty uh, small quart of oil you got there. Half quarts of oil. I didn't know you could buy those. Oh. So just a couple more, then we'll bust the old tire grind and stand out and uh show you guys how we do that we've got a previous video i'll link it in the description below on how we prep tires but we'll show you again because we love doing it so much <laughs> that's what i'm gonna say anyway don't you don't like it why not i don't make no fun so close that thing did not want to get off there Yep, just like that. There you go. That saved a lot of space. Space saving. So what I'm talking about is what I'm talking about. Is this one you just did? Nope. So here's here's something you can do, especially if it takes a couple days to do your tires like it does us. We mounted this one last night. Well, I know what kind of pressure it's supposed to have, so I want to check it. And it lost a half a pound. So I can tell you right now that I'm going to be happy with that tire. I done know that. 
Oh, we got to work on that tire stand. We got to put a foot pedal on it. Ha! Huh? We wore the foot pedal out on it. Brian's leans on it so much. Yeah, he leans on it so much. You got a big old foot. Got that old metal foot pedal wore out, didn't it? We got one, and I'll also leave a link to that below where to get something like that if you guys have a tire machine with a uh, speed control foot pedal. Can you believe it's a sewing machine foot pedal? I mean, that's what they use. But yeah, sewing machine foot pedal. So it is an electronic. That's all it says. Electronic. Model EZ168A. Sewing machine speed controller. That's it. That's all you got to do. All right? So we're going to put that on. Tell you exactly how to do it. You stick your screwdriver right there and pop it out. Yeah, buddy. There you go. Now that that is done, we can get back to what we were doing in the first place. Prepping some tars. Get after it. So, if you remember, good. If not, we'll show you how we do tires. This will be a rear tire. As a suggestion, right, we showed you last time on a rear tire. You would uh, grind the circumference of it so that it would be around it. And then you come back again and you grind it and you go across. All right, so that puts your, your grinding marks basically where it would almost like do mini sipes in it. Just little bitty mini sipes. But since we got the old tire side here with the needler and all that fun stuff, we're going to make one pass grinding it, just knock the glaze off of the new tire. And then we're gonna get into this. So that's what Brian's gonna do. He's just gonna start grinding it and get the old glaze off of it, knock the tits off of it. comes the time where first thing we're going to do is going to throw this needler on there and basically just stick this on there and start doing it but you got to do it with two hands <laughs> So the next one, this here is just a straight across sight. I'm right about here, I like to check, see how deep my sights are going. That's about an eighth of an inch. So, that's just about right for our track. You gotta watch getting them too deep at certain tracks to start chunking them out. So here's that. Now we got a couple more things to do, but this uh this tire side here is from Tire Demon. Now we don't have the Tire Demon stand, but you can buy a whole package to get you the tire side and everything else. And it's pretty cool because you can pull this up. You've got five different spots you can get. If you're interested in something like that, I will link it in the description below. Uh, not sponsored by him or anything like that, but it's a neat deal and we've had this what about three years now and so nice. uh, Yeah If anybody out there sites by hand, you know the struggle and Especially if you're doing all your tires from start of the season. Holy moly You're gonna be like Popeye when you get done, but that there makes it a heck of a lot easier I mean cut your tire prep time down 10 minutes per tire, maybe even less. So you're gonna get back at this All right so this is the time right here. It's essential for us to get all of our measurements down. So what we do, as soon as we get that done, we know our tire pressure's good. We checked it right before we threw it on here. We're gonna stagger it. We're gonna write the stagger number on the back. And we're gonna take this stuff here and we're gonna wrap the tire up. That'll keep all your essential oils, <laughs> your essential oils in your tire. And it just keep the dirt off of it for as long as possible, keep from contaminating it. So you know you got a good tire that's ready to go and hit the pack and do some winning. 
So we'll get that done. We'll write it on the back, like I said. And each time you grind this tire, I always like to put me a mark on it so I know how many times this thing's been ran. The first one don't count. You know what I mean? Because you ain't putting no heat cycles on it. So remember that. Use that to your advantage. Get her done. There you go. That's what we do. We're wrapping about three times around. That tire's done. So we're gonna not bore you with the details here. You just seen how we did that. We're gonna do all these the same. We're gonna wrap them up. We're gonna get them on the car. And that's what it's gonna be. We're gonna get her done. We got stuff to do here. We got racing to do this weekend. Oh, and speaking of which, with this whole COVID thing going on, our track has got five classes of cars. Uh, 410 Sprints, A Mods, B Mods, Pure Streets, and the Multi. Our track is going to take a little bit different approach at this to try to keep from making such a late night. So we're going to run two classes, the multis and the pure streets, early in the afternoon. They're going to do that whole show, and then they're going to come back and do sprint cars, A mods, B mods. From what I hear, there's going to be a lot of big sprint car guys here. And I, I, if I'm guessing, I'm going to say 30 plus A mods, 40 plus B mods. You don't want to miss it. That's San Francisco County Raceway, Farmington, Missouri, this Saturday, May 9th. I'll link it down below. Get your butt there, B-square. We're gonna sign off for this uh, video here. We appreciate you guys coming by, hanging out with us, watching us work on some stuff in the shop and get done and hopefully do some good this weekend. All right, Tim and Brian, Brian doing all the work over there. I'm just holding the camera with a pretty face. We're telling you, get out there and do something, get that car in victory circle. We'll see you next time.